Nato viewers are wondering why there was no formal warning issued. Two on your sides, Nate Benson spoke with the National Weather Service to get some answers. This was really quick. In fact, it was within about five minutes. We get that through our radar squeeze. We took all of about five minutes for this to happen. As we now know, Monday's tornado started in Fort Erie, Canada, made its way across the 190 and ripped through the lower west side. And according to the National Weather Service, that happened so quickly they couldn't issue a tornado warning. You can see from this Storm Team 2 radar sequence just how quickly it came together and moved through downtown. It occurred really quickly, like I said, um, within five minutes, and sometimes that can fall within each volume scan, what we call within our radar. Too quickly to form a warning. Aaron Reynolds is a meteorologist with the National Weather Service, and he explained to me how the microclimates of Lake Ontario and Lake Erie caused the tornado to form without warning. Between the two lakes, Lake Ontario and Lake Erie, we have what's called lake breeze boundaries that form. Basically, the circulation between the land and the uh, water, and that, that's what caused this for, uh, storm to form, and uh, it followed right along two converging lake breeze boundaries. While lake breeze boundaries happen throughout the Great Lakes and coastal areas, Monday's convergence was... This is the first time that we've ever had something downtown. The tornado was also historic from a meteorological standpoint, and the scientists here at the National Weather Service plan to conduct an in-depth study about the storm. We are able to get a team down there and um, take a look at the damage and see what went on and able to give a rating and get it um, out to everyone to understand what went on with this. It will be studied. Um, we'll look at it here locally, and um, our NOAA research scientists will take a look at this storm. It will be one for me to remember. Why will it be so memorable for you? The fact that we had some light breeze boundary convergent boundaries and um, one that pr um, produced a, a water spout over land and then it came on land and produced a tornado. Now city officials say the tornado caused about two and a half million dollars in damage and thankfully nobody was injured. On your side at the National Weather Service, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News. Nate, thank you. It is 434.